Good evening, everybody. Hope everybody's having a better day than I've been having. Before I get into anything, I want to start off with a prayer, um, a general prayer, whether you believe in prayer or don't. It's okay. Um, Lord, I ask that you bless these people, some of which that I'll mention and think about tonight. Lord, uh, I don't have any ill will or animosity to them. I hate that. Uh, by getting on the internet and starting a YouTube channel, I was opening myself up to these types of attacks. I really hate it. And uh, all I can do now is set the record straight. Um, just so many things, Lord, you know as well as my mind knows, isn't the case. But things are being spread around and rumored, so I might as well just go ahead and get it all out. Thank you, and please let your will be done and help me along this path. Amen. Um, well, I'm not going to let people say that um, I made my wife eat out of a trash can. That's a bunch of bullets. So, when we went to L.A., I bet you she won't tell you that her friend Jay robbed me. But that's another story. When we went to L.A., I wasn't going to stay at first because, like, I didn't want to stay and be released back into the dorms with a bunch of guys and those type of living conditions, especially after I graduated. Well, their solution was for us to get married, which I was okay with. Kayla was hesitant at first, and I was like, I could not believe it because she had said all these things that she loved me. She told me she loved me for the very first time when I stood up to her abusive father against her. And that is the truth. You felt the animal and all you people that want to be, I don't know, that you get mad every time a guy comes on here and tells the truth about a woman. That's You're what's wrong with the world right now. It's equality. 2022, not just for one sex, for one group, but for all. So, just like saying the N-word's wrong, well, so is uh, being sexist towards females. So is being sexist towards males. So is being, uh, you know, racial towards not just black, but also white people. You know, I, I'm not for any type of radical stuff. No, this is not pre-recorded. I am here in the flesh talking. Yes, we are live. I may put out a link here in a little bit after I get done with telling all my story, but I want to make sure to cover all my bases. This girl, I loved with all my heart. I found her randomly, and she was not in anything good. She was just out of a semi-long-distance type relationship with some guy in Memphis who she met while she was out there in mental health treatment. Um, and people may say, well, he's not respecting her privacy. No, 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 no. Nobody respected my privacy like I asked and begged for and pleaded in messages and video after video by deciding to go out and drag this person out. So don't get, get you decided to bring it on here. And now a bunch of people decide to make some rumors. So I'm going to clear the complete air. All right. Well, yeah, of course I still love her, Berlinetta, in a way. Otherwise, she wouldn't be on my life insurance policy. Do I love her in, in, in the sense that I want to reconcile with her and get back together with her? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Never. Um, if I saw some of the things that I was able to perceive and see after the fact that we got it, uh, you know, I probably would have never even really fell in love with her. But 
she's about to be changed from my beneficiary. So, um, Kiska, I hope it was, I'm calling you by your nickname to help protect some of your privacy. I hope it was worth it, uh, cooperating with these people to help uh, taint my character image as much as you can, because I know that's what went on behind the scenes. They wouldn't just randomly get some random girl's stuff and do this without her consent. See, all these guys, they, they, they call me a sexist and this and that, and they don't think I can see right through them. They are feminist, if not feminist, radical feminist, very least, like Mr. Fusion's taking up her anime and all the stuff she's been getting and blaming Ryan Upchurch along with the Cycle Babble. Yet it's the same thing with the Johnny Goble situation. Yeah, Johnny Goble and Ryan got into it, or Johnny Goble said some stuff about Ryan and he said some stuff about back. But all the people like me and everyone else that made videos did not get direction from Ryan. Just like I'm sure all these people who have messed with anime did not get direction from Ryan. Just like you love to point out to me that you and a bunch of other people haven't conspired to do shit to me when I know damn well good you have. So you can kiss my ass. Now, as I was saying, while we were in L.A., they got her through whatever manipulative tactic they used. They got her to want to marry me. I didn't ask them to do it or whatever. They just act like that she had a change of mind. She'll probably say some shit like, I don't know. Uh, I told him, well, if I leave, she leave. You know, I, who knows what she'll say? I really don't know. And I don't want to guess and end up being right or not right or whatever. You know, I just, I hope she doesn't say anything. Because I didn't want to have to do this. But I've got to cover my fucking end. Since people decide, like, no life, Mike, somebody who's told me to literally fucking kill myself like he has any fucking right. And I got all these people unsubbing and resubbing back to keep me a little bit right at below 400 and let MC be above me in subs knowing that it's getting at me. Like, yeah, it's not fair that he's got more subs than me. All his videos are, are about talking shit that is based on his beliefs and his thoughts and assumptions in his head clearly only. None of his shit is real. It's not even really entertaining. Like, I, I sat legitly fucked up one night and tried to watch that shit and get entertained by it. Could not do it. Just fucking could not do it. Yeah, there'll be more about Scientology with this. So, their policy on relationships and stuff the way they handle families. After we got married and we were staying there for a while, I started noticing Kayla flirting with this other Sea Org member. And it pissed me off because I already forgave once an indiscretion of infidelity, I'll call it. Basically, she cheated on me before. Of course, she'll say that I don't have any proof that I die. Well, of course, I don't have any proof. What the fuck? What's it look like? I was sitting there while they were doing it and I collected a sample. God, no. I mean, she's smart. And plus, back then, I was the type that when I went to bed, I went to bed. And when I woke up, I woke up. And there wasn't any waking me up in between. And she would always be the type to stay up late. So, anyways, when I finally got tired of all the abuse and stuff there at Scientology, I told her, I said, look, I'm, I'm going to leave and I, I'm not going to have to run or anything like we hear about. I'm just going to tell them straight up I'm leaving. And I believe they'll just let me leave because they know that I'm smart enough that they can't keep me here. And she said, well, if that's what you want to do. And I said, really, Kayla? I said, like, shit. Really, Kiska? Really? And she said, well, fuck, man. Anyways, she said, well, yeah, uh, you know, like, I, I want to stay here. And I said, you seriously want to stay here? You don't want to come back with me. You don't love me at all or nothing. Nothing that we shared was to, uh, uh, you know, and. She just, you know, I, I knew it had the fact that she felt like that 
she might could establish a life out there. She didn't need me anymore. And that's what I resented the most was I felt like she was just using me the whole entire time. So I left and I called her mom and I told her mom what I thought was happening. And she had gotten mad at me about that. Uh, Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, sure. Well, no, I never... Yeah, he told me to check his messages. I don't believe those are from her messages, and I don't care what she says. She's a lying... I'm not going to down her just because you want me to down her. You want me to try to show an example that I'm horrible to people. Uh, I don't care if Fusion stream sniping me. I'm going to be bigger than him. He keeps playing with me. It'll, uh, it, it'll be all right. You know, that just shows the fact, you know, like Laurie and Triple T said, he is fucking obsessed with this shit. And uh, I'm glad you think that is so funny, Jason. You know, I thought you were going to be a cool customer. I guess I got to block you too, brother. Like, what the fuck do you think is funny? Like, I want to get back to my story anyways. So I left L.A. And for about two weeks, it was just quiet. And I got a call from her. And she asked me to please get her home to my house. And I did. I drove and paid for the gas to St. Louis to pick her up from the airport. I'm sure that we had sent her some money for food. If not, they helped her eat before she left, I'm sure. And I know I fed her as soon as she landed. So she was in no need or situation to have to eat out of a garbage can like Filthy Animal insinuated earlier. That's just retarded. I never made her do something like that. I was never physically abusive to that girl. Uh, it's been well over a decade. I believe if something would have happened, something would have, you know, <laughs> happened as a result of that. But say what you want. Um, she was actually physically abusive to me and me being raised the way I was. I was taught that, you know, you try to, you know, like, you try to take things as a man and ignore it, and unless it's involving another man or something, like if it's a girl or something, just get away from them. I was taught that if a woman ever gets like that with you, you just get away from them. And so that's what I do. I've always done that. I've, hell, I've been in that situation very, 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 very small number of times. It just the wrong type of women I ran into to be with time, I guess. Why does anyone care about this guy's story? Well, you can get on then, dude. Like, I mean, if you don't want to hear it, then fucking get the fuck on. I'm so tired of you fucking disrespectful motherfuckers. Most of you fucking plants anyways. I guess I'm going to have to build my own community slowly and maybe lose subscribers so I ain't got none. That's fine. Whatever will get y'all to leave me alone. Like, the fact that I got her home and then we go to Nashville on another opportunity and she cheats with me again at that opportunity with another guy and she can deny it all she wants to. I know she did. I have friends that told me years after the fact she did it. Swore to me. So, yeah, she's very good at hiding stuff. Yeah, I'll drop a link. But I'm telling you that it's the truth. And not only that, uh, I got her a job and everything else. And she started a fight at the place we were staying at and hit me after we were arguing and I barely could get up 
because she hit me so hard in the back of the head that when her, the father came back there, she started fucking crying on the spot, almost like a fucking actor, and said that I pushed her. And I did not push her at all. And uh, they told me to leave, so I left, and uh, I got my stuff, I left, and then I got a call a week later from those friends that originally were mine, and they told me that they apologized for assuming that I was the wrong and everything, and that um, if I would please come pick her up, they do not want to allow her to stay there anymore. And so her mom then called me and asked if I needed money. And I told her mom that she's my wife. I'll gladly go and get her. Uh, I don't like the fact everything happened the way it did. I went and I picked her up. She cried. I cried. We, I thought, made up. And this whole time, she was planning on just using me for that ride. And I didn't know it. Here's what I mean by that. She decides for us to get a motel room. We have a good night. We have like makeup sex and all that type of shit. And then next thing you know, as soon as the next morning, she's like, I want to go by my mom's and grab some things. I'm going on to her mom's and we get there and she looks at me and she starts dogging me out vile and starts telling me all the shit she's done and how much she hates me and how much that, uh, her mom told me that I shared with her mom and how she, uh, doesn't ever want to see me again. And, don't ever talk to her again. And I just looked at her and I said, okay. And I said, you plan to do this the whole time? And she said, you bet. And I just started crying. I mean, it broke my heart. Yeah, I have a marriage certificate. Because I truly love that woman. But she wasn't ready to settle down. King of the Kill, if you want to make fun of me too and join in with the rest of these lug nuts, I can block you too, bro. Like, I thought you were supposed to be there for a brother. This was one of the most worst moments of my life. No, we got... Well, it technically, yeah, it did happen before we signed the contracts, but they paid, the Scientologists paid for us and we were there. Okay, Ford for life, then I'm going to let you go, dude. Um, I'm not doxing anyone. You just keep bringing up past accidents, and they were not full doxes at all. And number two, I am the victim in a lot of this shit, so you're wrong. And I'm going to have to, uh, I guess, block you, dude. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Like, I don't know why you do shit like that. I'm not going to free MC. Are you fucking kidding me? The, the weirdo that called me 30 times in a fucking row. You're just a fucking, you're a liar, dude. You, you just fucking lie all the fucking time. And I can't take it. I need real friends. I don't need fucking fake friends. That's what it seems like I got. Oh, God. What does Shane want? Yes, yeah, Shane. What's up? Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks a lot for that. Yeah, Shane. Yeah. Dude, I was not laughing at you the other day when you jumped my ass. I was laughing because three people went, hmm, in a row, and I put a oh, laugh dude. symbol in it. I wasn't laughing at you, dude. 
these people are going to cause them. I'm, 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 they're, they think I'm crazy, but I'm not. I've been told I I'm not crazy. I don't think you're crazy, dude. No uh, shit, dude. Uh, I'm not going to come on here to fuck with you, dude. No they're, shit. They're, they're, they're going to cause me that they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, and they I was have, not they laughing. Have, they actually, have no, I, I they have no idea what they have no idea what they're talking about. But I'm so tired of it. I get you. I feel you. But no, dude, I just wanted to tell you that, man, because you didn't give me a chance to, man. I was not laughing at you. I was laughing at work because people went, hmm, like three, like four in a row. And I, even me, and then I put a little laugh sign, and you said, oh, you're laughing at me. No, I was not, bub. I promise. That's all people do is laugh at me, so it's hard for me to tell. Well, dude, on my mom's ass, you're sitting right in front of me, dude. I was not laughing at you, dude. We're not muted. If you can't hear us, something's wrong. I can hear you. B C M H C. I'm not talking about Scooter. Uh, no, no, I didn't I get up here uh, to do that either. I didn't get up here to talk about him. No, I'm talking about Rob Zombie. I made that reference, like. Whatever oh, y'all like, yeah. y'all like him. Okay, I don't think he did me right. I'm not talking about it. No, I didn't That's get up here to want. talk to you. I just got up here to like talk to you, dude. See how you were doing? Oh, I'm, I'm not doing okay. I'm not gonna be doing no. okay. This onslaught of harassment. Well, doing everything man. they doing everything like they did to. I mean, I'm not mad at you for nothing, dude. I promise you that. I don't know why. I'm restarting my computer right now. And even if I did unblock Scooter, why would I do it? He's the one that brought my wife into all this. He has no idea anything about that girl. He has no idea, a single clue about her. Uh, I, don't I, know have, about I haven't, I haven't seen her in a decade, and I gave her all her property back. I've kept her on my life insurance. I've kept her on married to me in case something happens to me. She gets money and has a way out of this place if she still lives around here, this sucky area that I live in. I have thought the world good, over dude. about that. I thought the world over about that woman, and for people to I say you, I bro. made her, I, I made her eat out of a garbage can. Uh, I don't know about that. I just can't see that myself. That's my opinion, and I'm entitled to that. I don't. I, I can't see that. Or, or mm-hmm. that, or or that she, or that she was in the position where she had to. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I don't. Yeah. I don't see why. Yeah, I can't see that. I'm fucking uh, damn. What's your name? Uh, uh, filthy animal said that and said something about the video. I said there ain't no video, no eating, not no gr- trash can, not not her. I don't care what you say, uh, man. I will. I want to say this. I appreciate you letting me come up here. I really do. Thank you. That's, I give you respect for that, dude. So I know you didn't I have a fish. Try, I, mean, I, was, I was just trying. I was trying to be honest, but I see what being honest does now. That didn't matter. But I mean, you seem like you were trying to almost like check, like uh, check me out or whatever. You know, uh, it. You know, fill me out no. with what you said. Dude, I really, and, uh, I, dude, I really was trying to help you out, dude. For real. I mean, no jokes aside, no. I mean. No, I mean, like, almost like, look me up, like, edge me up with that, that, the way you said that and stuff, and like, to get me, you know, on my toes about you and everything, and I wasn't trying to be like that, like, I came on here assuming most people were good people, like, I guess when people call me a kid, uh-huh. they're talking about my childlike way I have with the world like I, I don't want to believe or I, I don't naturally believe the world's all evil 
even though it is. Well, dude, yeah, buddy, you know how YouTube is. You know, you know how, let me put it this way, right? You, you knew how it was. I told you how this community and all this stuff would go, dude, and how it is. It's cutthroat, and, you, and I told you that. And, man, you know, I, I do. I wish you the best, dude. I hope, man, I wish nothing the best for you. For real, from the bottom of my heart, dude, no shit. I don't want to see nothing bad happen to you. That's no shit. Well, they keep doing that. This is why I begged and pleaded with uh, some individuals. Uh, and, and this is why I reached out to Scooter to not, you know, make it a trend or make me a thing of videos. Because, number one, I have worked most of my life. I've had challenges, yeah. Um, well, we all do, I, bro. I, I, I've been an addict to... Uh, you know, I, I've only been home and, and clean now for a full four years, and I know I can oh. appear crazy. I know I can come off neurotic and crazy, and I blow up and I get angry mm -hmm. sometimes. And ha yeah. I have I mean, panic. Like I, I, I have a pill that tells me to take whenever I have panic. I mean, I have panic attack. That's a diagnosed that. condition. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have that pill. And I'm not lying to these people and they do everything they can that, that even if they don't even mean to do it, they still invariably do it. And it fucking gets underneath me. And I know. And I, I know, and I wish you just let that, you know, roll off your back, dude, not even worry about it, dude. But I know that's hard for you. I know. I know. I, I'm trying to get on YouTube things so I can unblock Scooter. I don't know what he wants, but I'll let him up here. Okay. I'm just saying that y'all have to understand that also then when I went to Nashville with, with my wife, um, she went out with some of my friends while I was asleep to a dipping, to skinny dipping, and her nothing but panties and bra with all guys without me, without waking me up, without letting me know, telling me it's oh, yeah. they're asking asking me, saying she's going, blah, blah. Not not a soul, right? Just goes and does it. Well, I find That's out the cool. next day, I find out the next morning through people looking at pictures of the last night, and they're showing these pictures in front of me while we're smoking, and they're doing it, and they're laughing and pointing it out, and I'm sitting there getting red as I can be embarrassed and I went inside there and I got on to her about that and we kept working, kept working. The one bad thing I did is that when her dog was trying to come through a part, we were not, wasn't supposed to let it in. It was very fast and I shut the door behind it and I didn't mean to. And when I shut the door, it accidentally caught the dog's leg and it broke the uh, dog's leg. And I just, died in the floor crying uh we went and got it help and luckily it got the use of its leg back and stuff that was my wife's dog and i felt really bad about that you know i hated that but but we had to sh we had to to uh shut the door you know um yeah and he had just came to squeeze on through real quick behind us when we when we were doing it. I was the last one out and um it got caught on his leg, yeah. Oh man, accidents so, happen, uh, I mean, I mean, oh, that, I mean that, that, that that was like when I was a kid pitching uh and uh somebody came up to the plate and I pitched the ball and it broke their nose, you know that. Uh, I never wanted to play baseball again after that. Like, I don't like hurting people at all, even when it's done on accident. I don't like that shit. Like, I got to take I, – I, I have a, an immense amount of empathy, empathy I can have for others. But, I mean, like, this person, I, I have made it set up so just in case of the fact that something bad or not good, unlucky or because of my own actions happened. 
you know, hell, maybe they can do something and have a better life. Um, I didn't want my brother or anybody to get it. But now the fact that, you know, all this is going on, it makes me want to say, you know, no, fuck that. Like, I'll just take the person off and I'll just hurry up and get the divorce done because they don't mind, you know, letting people uh, come on and say whatever without any sort of proof or whatever. The only proof is, I guess, is the fact that it's somebody else besides me. Scooter Beggins is unlocked. Well, y'all heard that. Everybody's, I'm reading the chat, too. Huh? Everybody's saying free scooter. We, we wasn't able to hang with couples that night. That's where we lived, and she went off with a bunch of guy friends. It, it was a guy friend's house we were staying at, and she went off with him and a bunch of his guy friends. That's what I'm saying. Like She had cheated on me and stuff, and I forgave her and everything. So like, like she hit me, and I just walked away, literally. Oh, well, not only did I walk away, I got blamed for it. Because they, they were like, he pushed into me. No, I didn't push into her. What it was, was I was trying to get some uh, She had taken money and uh, some, something else from me. So I reached into her purse and I told her I was taking what she took back because she was, cause that was like the first time in our whole relationship she worked. And she uh, tried to take it away from me, and I like yanked back, and and the next thing you know, she hit me behind, you know. And she was like, "Well, he was pushing on me, and I, I was never pushing on her, never, yeah. ever, ever did I push on her." Okay. And like the fact that these coming up with all these rumors and saying stuff like that's why I wanted to go ahead and do the stream and explain it all because I know it all back back from the back of my hand to the front. I know every issue. the way we started out was um you know she was had not been that long out of Lakeside and she was getting out of this long distance relationship from Memphis and uh she was on a lot of pills, and at the time, I wasn't diagnosed with anything yet, and I had learned a lot of things about drugs, and I helped her get off her medication, and when I did that, we did it slowly, and then she flushed the rest down. Her dad was uh, being abusive and verbally berating her. One day, I stood up to her for that, and that was the first day she told me she loved me. Uh, we stayed for a few months at her dad and mom's house while they were divorcing and had dinners, had all types of great times together. That was probably the best part of our relationship was the beginning. The next part at my house was kind of humdraw. And then the next part in California was not that great. And then Nashville was fun sometimes and a disaster most the other time and that's how we ended I mean like I know it front and back so Scooter can come up if he wants he's not I don't think he's blocked and let me check this just in case I don't think he is Yeah, see. see you're being strange no. tonight, but trying to get you to unblock them over on fusions just I don't care if fusions the fact that fusion is stream sniping shows how obsessed he is with me. Uh, let's go. Like, you owe me a, you owe me a, you owe me an apology, Fusion. You called me a faggot. Get your ass over here and man up and apologize, just like everyone else. You apologize to Ice Man. Why did you apologize to all these people? What, what info or stuff did they have on you that I don't have? Are, are you so sure I don't have it? You might want to rethink that, buddy. <laughs> 
That's what I'm saying. He thinks that I fucking don't know how to play chess and checkers. I know how to play chess, checkers. I know how to play a lot of games. Uh, that's, well, buddy, that's a, yeah. sometimes you have to go in here. You know when, that. When, when I learned he was 40 years old, I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Oh, well, hell, dude, I'm 38. Yeah, but I mean, like, come on. Like, you pick on somebody your own age, own size. Yeah, but you know, you know how it can be on here, bro. I would like, try, be- uh, if, if I knew somebody was older than me or whatever, I would try to show them respect. Yeah, I feel you. I get you. I'm not summoning him, uh, Fusion. He's banned from here. That doesn't mean I can't talk about him. That's First Amendment. Uh, if he wants to talk about me, he can. But stream sniping is just a whole other level of obsession. I was no, I was not on med not the skinny dip. I just fell asleep naturally like I normally did. I went to bed early. I've always been that tired. But it wasn't a skinny dip. She just went out there in her like bra and panties because she didn't have a swimsuit was her argument. But I think she did that just so the guys could see her. Irregardless, look, I haven't been with the woman for ten years. She never filed a protective order on me. She's never filed for anything on me. Because, number one, I let her get her stuff out of my storage shed, which I didn't have to do. I could contest the divorce now that she's came on here and slandered me pretty much. But I'm not going to be petty or do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do what she obviously wants. In case something happens to me, she won't be the people that get the money anymore. I'll leave the big inheritance to somebody else. And I'll make sure to get divorced from her. And she can stay hidden like she's been. Because, like I said, I haven't searched for her other than maybe trying to send her a message about divorcing once or twice. And I couldn't find her. And I didn't spend more than 30 minutes looking. And that's it. So if she wants to hide that well because she's that scared, let her. I don't give a shit. She's just doing that as an excuse She probably likes to use one of her anime type names as her username. And that's perfect because she knows I don't, I never gave a shit about anime or nothing and would never know what any of those names are. Uh, I don't care. I mean, (laughs) what, what you guys don't understand is. The, the woman bleached my clothes, all types of shit. She's a whack, she's a whack job. Hey, buddy, it happens. I'm not going to leave her shit in my will after this. The fact that she came on here and said she was in an abusive relationship. Okay. Well, let me tell you something, Kiska. How about if you had gotten with Paul? Do you think it wouldn't have been abusive? Or how about fuck Paul? What if you'd gotten with, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, D's boyfriend or, uh, fucking, um, oh, whoever that dude is. I forgot. You got one of them dudes. I, I guarantee you. Like, I was the most softest guy you could have met, like, in the sense that. I wouldn't let anyone hurt you, but I would never have hurt you. And I never did hurt you. Ever. (laughs) And for you for you to even insist it, like it just makes me have less respect for you because yeah, you were a beautiful woman. Note that I said were. You're not anymore after all the shit we had to go through. You put me through so much pain and you didn't give a shit. And you got all these strangers that are taken up for you simply because of the nature that you're a female. And I find that repulsive and what's wrong with the current day society. We're supposed to be about equality. You know, 
bullying a woman is just as bad as bullying a man. And I swore and fought and did everything I could to keep uh, my shit from coming on here. But people just winked and, and said that they were going to do it. Neat. And even if I hadn't had uh, had my little episode Saturday, it would have that video that came out the very next day was already planned to be coming out as soon as it was finished. I mean, I, I mean, come on, guys. I'm not that stupid. Scooter's been unlocked in the chat, just so people know. Um, he ought to be able to click on the link, too. As long as it's a Scooter Beggins account, it won't be any other account. I've got a couple troll accounts that I don't know who they are blocked. But I'm not going to unblock them. But the thing is, is that not only that, you know, when her, when she was stuck in Nashville and made me leave after hitting me and I went home for a week, she was with this one guy who was long hair, white with dreads, like filthy type of dude. And she was hanging out with him all the time. I was told by my friend Muhammad, the one in the Gucci Gucci bandana dance video. She stayed with his mm -hmm. family. And uh, and he told me that uh, he, she's been over there. So obviously she's been sleeping with dude and everything. And I still, out of the good nature of my heart, in fact, I loved her. When her mom called and asked me to go get her and if I needed any money and I told her no, I still drove three hours one way, picked her up. And then we pulled over, and she said, what are you doing? And I said, well, I did just drive three hours here to get you. I said, please let me uh, rest for a little bit. And she just all of a sudden at one point started bawling and breaking down and hugging me and stuff. And all of it was an act. So, like, she wants to call me a manipulator or her or not. She's a manipulator. Like, who the fuck pretends to get back together? just for a trip. Like I would have felt a lot better if she had said, uh, you're just helping me get back home and that's it. And I would have been like, okay, you know, but no, she pretended that we were getting back together and making up. We fucked everything else. And then we get home and then she dumps me. She did that shit to twist my heart out and pull it out and yank it. Damn. Okay. I'm just saying, like, she is horrible. And I never wanted to get in, into her or talk about her. But these people made it happen by, by fucking bringing her up and wanting to find out who she is and everything. And hell, I didn't think she'd be the type to... uh have videos or whatever because she's usually very private and stuff but hell maybe she's changed a little bit in some ways but I guarantee the most of her hasn't changed I mean you know she's man I, <laughs> like there's somebody that I delivered to here lately that's uh, dating and engaged to somebody I know and uh the guy that she's dated to, he had dated uh, my ex, my soon-to-be ex-wife here, like maybe over a year or two ago, and he said that she's still all the same type of ways and everything. Like she has not changed that much. If anything, she's probably gotten more bolder. Yeah. You know her better than the rest of us. I, I didn't say she docks me. What are you talking about? I heard you would only let her eat ketchup packets. <laughs> yeah, that's a lie. And you can get the fuck out. Dude, stop with these trolls. Like, I'm not going to fucking deal with you. 
eat ketchup. That's a bunch of bullshit. You know, ketchup. you have no, you have no idea how much money I spent on just that girl's drinking habit alone, or her cigarettes, or her food, or her occasional shopping. Most of what she says is a lie. Yes, Regan. She talked about that she had no phone. That is complete and utter bullshit. What teenager? Well, we was we was just. I was still barely still considered a teenager. I was nineteen. She was twenty one. What twenty one year old don't have a phone? Like, plus back then she was bigger than me. Like, as in size wise, I was a lot skinnier and scrawny. And there's no way that I physically controlled her, especially in my house with my parents around. Plus, we had a house phone. So, yeah, she was never cut off or controlled. That's a bunch of bullshit. Don't even get started on that, Lee. I'm not going to be disrespectful. I don't want to be disrespectful. I could say something that's sort of funny, but I don't want to say it because it would be fucked up at the same token. <laughs> it, would, it would embarrass her and it would make people laugh, but, it, you know, I don't want to do that. Because I don't hate her. I just want the best for her. I just hate the fact that she sold out so easily in talking shit about me. But I should have known better because I knew with how she ended our relationship and how she acted and how her attitude was to certain things, the type of person she is. So I'm not surprised. Uh, no, I don't hate women. I love women. Uh, and no, I do not have an attraction with Fusion or Scooter. So thank you, Lisa. Goodbye. Hey, Patrick. How are you doing? Uh, you can come up if you want to, Lee. You know, it's just... I gave all of my soul and, and energy and time and effort and all that I had into our relationship. And I never really felt like she gave me as much back. How's that the truth? Yeah, she exactly. He's got an obsession with me. Not only that, he's fucking now he's a social justice warrior against people bullying Zanime, but y'all got no problem with people bullying men. I'm about to start a men's right or men right activist channel because all this bullshit about uh, people to get falsely accused and the false accuser never goes to jail and shit. That's fucked up. Workyverse uh, works media. You can get the fuck up on out of here too, because don't worry. I, I've got a, I got a, I got a plan.
Hey, Dirk's cabinet door. How are you, man? I hope you're all right. Yeah, she couldn't handle the square root of our relationship. She couldn't handle uh, a <laughs> lot of things. She she couldn't handle commitment. She couldn't handle uh, being honest. She couldn't handle being faithful. She couldn't handle uh, wanting to work. I mean, you know, it, the relation like it, it was supposed to be a 50 50 relationship. It wasn't I do all the working, but that's what it turned out to be. Ninety percent of the time was I did all the work and she did nothing. Like, you know. Now, if, if the world was like it was back in the 50s and on my salary, I could afford a car and everything else easy peasy. then yeah, I wouldn't mind doing all the work, uh, for, you know, especially if my wife listened to me. But it ain't like those times nowadays. Uh, the women are going to do what they want to. And, you know, I mean, some of them are like that. And she had that mindset. And if I didn't agree with it, well, fuck me. I'm not good. Hey, Stormwood, I hope it's all good for you, too, man. All is good over here. I just got to clear up uh, stuff about my marriage since supposedly I was down the girl all the time last time, according to Filthy Animal. Like, I don't know what you're saying, Filthy, but you said you were done with the square content, too. That's another hypocritical point that you're doing is you wish me good luck, and now you're saying you're back on it all because what? Because I assumed something about Scooter and made a video and got him upset Saturday. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but I sent him a text saying, okay, it's possible I was wrong and I apologize. But still yet, that's got nothing to do with you, man. And I didn't say nothing to you. So you getting involved with whatever stuff you're coming up with is just um, it's whatever. I don't really care. What's going to happen is, see, here to a point, one of these days, I'm going to have the opportunity to go out to the country. And whenever I go out into the country, I ain't ever going to come back. What do you mean? I'm just, you know, I'm going to take off. I'm going to leave everybody and everything. Are you just going to go get off the grid? Something like that. Uh, okay. Go ghost on us. I got, I got to Shane. I, I can't take this shit anymore. Like these people, Shooter Beggins is not blocked. He can come on here if he wants to. He doesn't want to, obviously. If he wanted to, he could come on here under his real name. Now herbal media is here. Herbal whatever. Where, uh, a little bit today. Yeah, say, I looked, at that, I, I up, looked at that stream. I looked at that stream. I did not say your name, Herbal, on that stream the other night, so you lied. I did not. You did too. You try you guys try to make me think that like I forget stuff and it's easy. I do have a short term memory issue, so y'all do succeed sometimes, but if I, I did lie, what, well, like, I apologize. Herbal, you oh, call me a sissy, and everything is is messed up, dude. When you know, when you don't know what all issues I have, maybe I haven't shared them all with you. You guys don't we know don't me know at all. No, you, you don't. No, you fucking don't. Issues. I can interrupt. I haven't told you them all. I, can interrupt people I, I haven't too, told. Sir. I. This isn't about interrupting, man. This isn't about that. My no. Apologies or ex no excuse, but I'm just trying to say that this is about that you guys are doing shit that is downright torturous, mean to me. I mean, this shit, I've never had this shit from an internet basis happen. A lot of different people all doing the same type of shit, you know, and it's because of the people that have made these videos fucking talk and shit about me. Maybe you shouldn't go well, under the influence and get up on here and say all this shit and tell people your life story. Like right yeah, now, you're listen, under the influence of something. 
I, I'm under the influence of something. No, I am well, not. Learn your speech. Well, I know what Herbal is talking about. I don't know if you're under the influence. Dude, I'm not, right? I'm not under I'm, the influence. No, I said I don't know if you are. And I, if you no, are, it's none of my business. I don't care. Oh, dude. But sometimes well, you do I, get on I, here and you give out too much information, man. Is what I think Herbal is trying to say. We wouldn't know any of this right. stuff about you, Square, if you wouldn't have told us it. No, but the stuff about, like, getting my dad and them's number and calling people off. I don't have anything stuff, to do with that. You might not. Agree with people that, that are doing it. The people that are doing this fucked up, the people that have called the police to my house and the people that have, uh, you know, uh, now, now lied and said that I made my wife eat ketchup packets and shit, which is a complete lie. I mean, which kind of you know, ketchup come packets, on. though? Like the McDonald's ones or the Hunts ones? Herbal, don't, don't even, don't even, Herbal, don't even, please. <laughs> herbal. Shit. Come on, I'm just fucking with you, Square. Yeah, man, I mean, he's not trying to be a dick, he's just fucking funny. Fucking... Okay, okay, but I mean. Calm down, calm down. I mean, if he would have no, said that to me. No, calm man, down. How would y'all feel if this was you in your life? How you want you me to tell you that? I can tell you. Exactly. I mean, some of them ketchup packets in them gas stations is pretty fancy. Yeah, I, I mean, hell, I need to buy one more herbal, one more. They don't call it fancy it. ketchup for nothing. But, I know, man, he's just, uh, but, all right, man, you just sit, ignore it or laugh and go on with it, man. I mean, I understand you get mad over that. I do. But sometimes, man, treated, you just need to... I treated my but, wife the best I could. I understand that, dude. I do. I understand that. Yeah. And that's what you... If you, you, know, if you have, you have, then Don't worry about what everybody else says, dude. Just ignore it. I know it's hard. She knows that I cared about her. I why I didn't rush with divorce because I didn't want there to be any fights among the family if I died that she not get my money I knew if we were married and she was on there that she'd get it now I don't know what to do well you do what you think's best that's all I can say about that well, if she's gonna flat out lie, if she's gonna flat out lie, and let these people lie. I got no choice. I can't. Well, there you go, then. There you go. You do what you think is best for you. I didn't leave her in Cali. She said she was going to stay in Cali, and Scientology told me she wanted to stay, and I could not make her go. Oh. And you know what? You can get up out of here. Yeah, I know the chick's clout chasing. And yeah, I kicked her because he keeps fucking making jokes out of everything that's fucking serious. Like, he doesn't know when to be here for me as a friend when I need him to be serious. He only knows how to make jokes out of shit. And the shit he's trying to make jokes out of, I, he don't understand that I can't laugh at. I guess he's never been in a situation where he can't laugh. I understand that. I do. There are only three positive things I could say about her 
was that she listened and could hold an intelligent conversation with me. She was interested in spiritual topics and stuff and subjects like me. And she's a beautiful, she was a beautiful woman when I met her. But now when I look at her, now when I look at her and I see her, all I see is the past and everything. And I don't, I don't see that beauty anymore. I loved her so much. I believe you. Mm -hmm. I never did anything but harm her. Ever. I treated her like if she was a queen. Well, that's good. That's what we're supposed to do as men do. Mm -hmm. So all I did was to do the best for that woman. What's up, Ice? How you doing, Ice? What you doing, Bubby? I'm tired of people saying on drugs mm -hmm. or need mental health when I'm already fucking getting it under drug mm -hmm. supervision. Well, I'm not that. I ain't no drug specialist or nothing you know <laughs> that's not what i come up here for people are gonna feel I'm gonna real tell you stupid something. One i got something to say and this is all i'm gonna say and i'm gonna say it as calm as i can say it you'll be a pussy if you don't call them 50 more times what what i didn't yeah. catch that guys yeah you're a pussy if you don't call them 50 more times Call who? Oh, you know who. I haven't called anybody. Well, oh, okay. Well, why'd you leave your life after the fucking police left my house, you goddamn fucking piece of shit, son of a bitch? Dude, you got me wrong and fucked up. I have not called the police at all on nobody. You're fixing to get yourself fucked up, motherfucker. You got See, me now this hit. is bullshit. Oh, you're no, bullshit. I didn't do you're nothing to you. You a piece of shit. You lying call son the of a call, bitch. Call the call the nine one one operator. Go fuck some more guys, oh, yeah. motherfucker. Go fuck some go fuck get, some more get go, 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 go fuck get some more people in the hey. head, motherfucker. Hey, 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 you're gonna stop talking like that. Go get the nine one one calls before you accuse me of something, bitch. I didn't call the police on you, motherfucker. I've been too busy tonight. So you can kiss my ass, Ice Man. You are not going to come on here and talk to me like that. Fucking, I fucking told you the truth after Mr. Fusion used me. I have been nothing but honest to you, you piece of shit. Fucking motherfucker, come here and talk to me. Don't worry about it. I got it. I'm good. Hello, Grandpa. Okay. Hope you're having a good day. No, it's not my grandpa. It's my, my brother's oh. over here. Oh, sorry. Hello, brother. Hope you're having a good day. She's into paganism and wit and gothic type stuff. And yeah, she's she's a unique person. I'll give you that. I couldn't be with her now long term anyways since I took took uh took an obligation back to you uh, uh God when I renewed my faith to Christ. I need to know what the fuck Iceman's talking about, so I'm fixing to end this stream. Saying come back on, all right. I'm gonna redo the stream, okay? Are you gonna restart it? Uh, yeah. All right.
just come right back. Okay. I'm going to restart the stream, y'all, to end this. Basically, I met Kayla in 2011, and we separated at the beginning of 2013, right at the end of 2012, because of differences and everything else. Never once did we have any dealings with the police. Never once did we have any physical altercations except the time she hit me. And I got out, got her out of my way by, you know, pushing my body around to get around and away from her. Other than that, that's it. And um, I never have ever made her eat out of a garbage can or cause her to eat out of a garbage can. All right, so uh, uh, let's uh, redo the stream, and I would like to ask the little motherfuckers, Iceman, and everybody else to come back on so we can figure out what's happening, because I know I didn't call Iceman, and I will bet my life on it. So, and in the private chat, I got... Oh, okay, I won't. Now, I won't. I, you have my fucking trust, dude. I wouldn't do that. Go ahead. I'm waiting. Let me get it so I can screenshot it. Okay. I think I know what the first three are. Uh, so I'll talk. I'll restart the chat. 